off, we can also I should connect. just hold it. So the microphones are here. You I'll just, just hold, hold just it, like yeah. Right Ooh, I like that we can see the see in the mirrors. Hmm. Does it look like we're sinking? Yeah. <laughs> That's a really cool set. Good yeah, job. Hmm. Okay, well. Well, here we are. We are live. Um, Defeek set us up quite nice, per usual, as he does. <laughs> um, I don't know. We're here on this evening. This is a Saturday evening in April. Um, we both returned from the work that we've been doing and... We are now in a moment of unison. We are in a moment of unison. We completed the mission today. We did complete the mission. That was really good. It was really good. Mm -hmm. I want to go get that water bottle over there. Can you get any water? <laughs> yeah, you want to share my own? Mm. Or do you want your own? Oh, yeah, your cup of water is still over there. Mm. Yeah, we're getting water because we need to hydrate. Thank you. You're welcome. ASMR. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Maybe this slowly kind of becomes an an ASMR type of thing. <laughs> Could you imagine? I bet you people, I bet you we kind of do have voices for that. Yeah. Mm. Put people to sleep. Go to sleep, nigga. <laughs> Go to sleep. I did drink water in there, so I wonder if mm. that's what it probably did. Probably did. On oh, the clanging of the bottle. People would be like, ooh. <laughs> oh, here, let me try to drink. You drink loud. As crisp. Like. <laughs> As crispy. As crispy. Here, I'll take this. It's crispy. I'm going to set this water behind you. You want to just give it to me? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. That's terrible. Um, what is that? You said, what's the name of the plant? Um, this is a monstera. Mm. They are really beautiful and tropical. If you've ever been to Miami, they are huge. A lot of the plants that we have here that we keep in small pots that get pretty big are like huge trees out there. And so it's um, it's really beautiful. Oh, very cool. So, but yeah, someone's Monstera. I love her. She's doing great. She's got a new leaf. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I love plants. Which I'm sure you will um, continue to learn. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my first time living amongst so many plants. And, you know, they really do become like like family. Mm -hmm. You know, like I see the plant and I'm like, I'm like, what's wrong? You know, why do you look like that? You know, <laughs> like, like, wait, do, wait, 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 I like you. I like you. Don't, don't, don't. I get sad. I get scared. Mm -hmm. Some of them be drying up and then I see a new leaf. I'm like, oh, they got a new leaf. It's just the cycle. Yeah. It's, it's nice though. It's cool. You know who I also just recently really became friends with? Hmm. Frank. Where's oh, Frank? Right here. Frank. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Frank. <laughs> so this is Frank. Y'all have met him before. Um, we got to give Frank like a voice. Like, what does Frank sound like, Gingy? Like you said it. You got to do it. <sighs> what does Frank sound like? Frank, what you sound like, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that seems accurate. Take this for me. That seems accurate. <laughs> 
after her. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, that's Frank. Um. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. It's okay. We can change it, right, Frank. But I just I, I brought you out here. I brought you out here, Frank, to say this: that you part of family, bro. I I see you like I see these plants, bro. I see you, you pug. <laughs> Yeah, this is Frank. He's a pug, and he got a name, bro. We named him. Mm-hmm. He Maybe. stays. But you were, of course. All right, what's up? My mama gave me Frank when I first moved in here. That's what's up. I like you, Frank. I have a stuffed animal. Mm-hmm. I'm 31 years old. We have a stuffed animal. And we have a stuffed animal. So, Frank was here. Yeah. So, we have a stuffed animal and 57 plants. Um, It's a a very committed relationship, you would say. Um, So, Frank was here. And when Tafik met Frank, I'd say it was a pretty instant connection. Um, I feel like I'm in a confessional right now. Oh. (laughs) a pretty instant connection and um yeah he's adopted frank into the family so uh yeah he's got a stuffed animal yeah and he's very much um our pet (laughs) and we have a lot of plants that we talk to if you're not talking to your plants what are you doing you're having a good time yeah, man, it's cool. You know, it's like we can just talk. Mm-hmm. We just talk. We speak our minds. We throw a camera up, put some lights up. We just talk. And what do you want to talk about? Oh, hold on. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Well, we don't have to talk about shit, but we just talk. And the louder we are, With whatever it is that we want to talk about, the more attention we garner. Now, the idea is not attention, but attention span. Mm. That's how you change the course of your life, period. You just be loud and you hold people's attention span. Mm-hmm. That's it. These ca- This camera, these cameras we got, phone camera, these lights, Frank, you know, they're all like pieces of, of that puzzle. To communicate loudness. That's what's up. And we're doing it right now. We're doing it right now. Right now. And it's going to be mad easy. Because these little, these talks that we're having, this shit's just going to go straight to the, I'm just going to color grade it. And that's it. I'm throwing it up, bro. Mm-hmm. We ain't doing the edits and shit. Mm-hmm. It's real life. It's uncut. This is real life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's real out here. So, yeah, here you go. It's real life. Oh. Resting. Mm. Yeah, it's real. What's up? Um, I don't know. I was playing Sims. Sims 4. How was that? It was good. Um, my Sim is currently at school. Um, what are they studying? Um, I'm not sure yet. They're doing their general education first, okay, and then cool. they're gonna, <laughs> then they're gonna pick a profession, a major. Okay. Um, but they're not there yet. Very cool. Um, okay. and they just purchased a home. It's currently unfurnished. Wow. But they purchased a home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that's what my sim is doing but for now they've been making friends and like eating snacks at other people's houses and Yo, taking showers yeah. there until they can furnish their house but i guess like but they have a house but wow new college student you know yeah. just gotten studying general ed and has a house mm-hmm. friends social life that's that's set up for good mm-hmm. you know that's good what's what's your sim's name um jay J, okay. J Monet. J Monet. <laughs> okay, J. Okay, J. Uh, yeah. 
it's like inspired by me, but like loosely, you know, it's okay. loosely me looks based on me, but not my life, you know, like mm. she's got a different track, but she's doing some similar stuff. Oh, similar stuff. <laughs> but different, you know. Jay Monet. Yeah. That's what's up, Jay. I see you, girl. We go check in. We go check in with Jay. Maybe weekly. Okay. We go get some updates on Jay. I mean, I'm really interested in Jay. Mm-hmm. You're interested? Look, I am interested in the story of Jay. Mm-hmm. And the reason being is this. Look, she's, she's in college, mm-hmm. taking some courses, and she has a house. I don't even have a house now. It's super impressive. Very soon. I want to know about some updates on Jay Monet. I will let you know. What are her friends Jay like? Monet. Um, she still like got acquaintances <laughs> right now, but like the first friends that she, the first house that she was like comfortable enough taking a shower at their house while they were like sleep and eating and doing whatever, was like this group of like. Group? No, yeah, it's like this, like there. It's like the goth house, right? Oh, so yeah. I just literally popped up. I was like, "Hey!" Knocked on the door, and they were like, "Come in!" And so then she goes in. She has a snack, and then she's like, "I'm gonna use your facilities." Da da da. She takes a shower there. Mm. Now she doesn't have the rapport. If you've ever played Sims, you can't just go to a random Sims house and sleep in their bed. They will call you out for that and they will be very uncomfortable. You can nap on their couch. You cannot sleep in their bed. So, I, unless they become besties, I think, or they have a relationship. I don't know. But right now, Jay Monet does not have a bed yet because she was like, I'm moving to a new town. I'm starting over. I'm doing my shit and I bought a home. So the home is just the home. Now, she's got a lot of renovations to do. Um, she's going to be working and in school and, um, really trying to just make it work. So she met a group of goth kids and then, um, they've been really nice. And then she's also visiting, um, the library and the local gym to take care of her needs. And then there's also this, this group of kids that I don't know what they do, but I feel like they're also college students, but we're, we're getting to know them more. So we'll see Wow. Mm-hmm. That's this just cool. That's amazing. Amazing. Mm-hmm. We'll be checking in with Jay Monet. Okay. <laughs> you can you can be sure of that. And you know, um, I'm really I'm really excited for her development. She sounds like she's an upstanding citizen. Mm-hmm. She's pretty cool. Very cool. Very cool. Just creating out here. I imagine that we create this entire character, Jay Monet. <laughs> we got Frank. We got Jay Monet. People are gonna fall in love with Jay Monet, bro. Yeah, she's dope. She's cool. She sounds cool as fuck. And The Sims probably got like some. It does have like some multiplayer action. Maybe Juwapadu. you find some friends on Juwapadu. <laughs> oh, I could find friends on some. Like, That'd be cool. That are real life. Yeah, it's just gaming with friends. Yeah. That's it. You know? Sims with friends. And then they're like, oh shit, yo, yo, Jay Monet. You go have house parties and stuff (laughs) at The Sims. That's it. We're taking over the metaverse. Jay Monet is going to be the biggest brand on the metaverse. I'm telling you right now, Jay Monet. Jay Monet. (laughs) Jay Monet. Bro. Jay Monet is going to be the biggest name in the metaverse. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Come on, Jay. Well, yeah, that's the virtual. That's what's happening in the virtual space. Um, I don't know. What's on your mind? What's in your cranium? What's in my cranium? Um. Right now, I'm looking at the view. That's cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Just checking in. Doing my hair. That feels kind of good. Mm-hmm. Um, 15 minutes into this. So now, I guess it's like the whole objective of shooting this video, shooting the next videos, whatever it may be, mm-hmm. is just to get over the hump of needing it to be perfect. It's mm-hmm. just boom. That's what it is, bro. There's some subtitles. Take it, take it for what it is. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. I'm 
I'm proud. I'm proud of us. Thank you. Are you feeling like we're over that hump of it needing to be perfect? Yeah, I think I think I'm starting to to be over that hump. There's definitely I do I do find myself wanting quality for sure. Yes. I want, you know, I'm always going to be striving for quality. And but at the same time it's I felt like I w- I've been conditioned to think that quality is, you know, based on visually, how does it look? How does it this? How does it sound? Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, but and while that's all true, there's still quality of of you and how you communicate. So mm-hmm. so it doesn't have to, and, and so so chasing to be better is cool. But you as you are are more than enough. Period. Mm-hmm. And better for who? Like being better for you, not better for other people. Yeah. Better for better for you, not better for other people. Mm-hmm. Also, being honest about where you're at. Being honest about where you're at, I feel like, is important. Mm. So, um, yeah. While you're on your improvement. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Break. Put that joint right there. You can just talk. Mm. Go ahead. While you're improving, Relax. I think that it's good to be honest about where you're at because it is a process and, you know, everything takes time. And I think that there's beauty in the awkward quirkiness of reality. So, yeah, just being in that and showing up as you, I feel like, is something that reaches people a lot in a world where we are told we need to be perfect, but we know that that's very far from the reality of things. Um, just vibing out and being kind of weird is, is cool. Mm. Definitely makes me more inclined to um, reconnect with someone. It's like, huh, something different yes. about you. Mm-hmm. That was beautifully said. Um, I'm starting to realize, you know, and this is just for me, and it's my personal reality. I'm starting to think that though the people who are themselves, they give off like a vibe and energy, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, why is that genuine person? It's like, why why am I so, like, drawn to that person, right? Yeah. And that takes a lot of energy from those people who are, you know, having to show up. That energy becomes, like, people want it. Yeah. Like, they want it. Um, so they they will take it from you if you give it to them. That good energy. Well, good energy meets good energy, vibrant energy. It's like, it's less of an issue. But there Mm -hmm. are people who are almost attracted to that good energy. And they'll they'll take. So as much good energy, and it's kind of a double-edged sword when you yield that good energy, when you have that good vibe, and that ability to be yourself that people are just so attracted to, Mm -hmm. that you have to also be careful in what terms of, uh, well, in terms of, like, how much you give, mm. you know, whether it's good or bad, it's, like, how much you give, you got to be selfish, mm-hmm. you got to be selfish with your good energy, gracious with it, it's a powerful thing, people just flock to you, because you got good energy, and I do. flock to you, mm. I was like, I flock to you from all the way from Pennsylvania, I was like, I was like, what's going on over there, what's going on in the West Coast, Hmm. Mm. Yeah, protect your energy, protect yourself. Did you know you felt me from Pennsylvania? Who's to know? I don't know. Hmm. Look, all I know is that, Gingy, <laughs> it's like, you know that cartoon of the kid who, who takes all his stuff, he puts it on a stick in his handkerchief, and he throws it over his shoulder, and he's like, oh, I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that cartoon, you know, that idea, I did that. Mm-hmm. 
I packed up my Honda, took everything I had, and drove to the other side <laughs> of the country. Mm. I don't know what brought me this I way. You drove. Yeah, I drove. I don't know what brought me this way, but I've been here ever since. Mm. I packed my shit and I. You did. said you felt me from fucking rain. Well, <laughs> and I was like, something. I ain't go to Texas. I ain't go to no Florida. I ain't go to no Atlanta. I ain't go to no, nowhere else. I came all the way here. Mm-hmm. So maybe you did. Maybe you did bring me this way. But that's a good thing, though, because our energies are good and on a balanced wavelength. Mm. So at least I think so. Mm. I feel that. Mm-hmm. Well, this has been fun. It has been very fun. Hmm. Any parting words? I I, th- I think I think hmm. I think you're really good for that. You have a very good like microphone, emceeing type of energy vibe, character. Oh, your eyes just. look a little trippy for this. <laughs> Cause I was staring at them for a long time, and then I was like, "Whoa, that looks strange." It is strange, but here. Yeah. You want to send us here? Take the mic. Hmm. Parting words. Let's see. To recap, um, from myself, Jinji, from Tafik, who's here, getting comfortable, from Frank, and from our 511 child plants, and from J. Monet in Sims 4, the moral of the story be yourself, protect your energy, and be aware who you're sharing it with and how much you're sharing. Um, but also, be real and enjoy life and be honest about where you are in life. You don't have to paint a different picture just to fit into someone else's narrative. So, write your own. Yeah, that's what I have to say. Bye.